first quarter of the season for the Royals, but they found their winning ways. They have won three in a row, so hopefully they'll keep going. Last I heard, they were ahead one to nothing today, so if we could play Baltimore all the time, we'd probably do pretty well. So good luck to our Royals. Um, I've got some bad news. We are out of the Easter season, so no more sprinkling. So I'm, I apologize for that. Um, if you come to the fountain, the font after mass, I can splash water on you if you want. All right, we have a few announcements. Vacation Bible School for the children will be taking place June 26th to the 30th of this, this year. Registration forms are available in, on our website and they're also in the gathering space. And we have Kristen here who will help you sign up your kids and answer any questions that you have about Vacation Bible School after Mass, okay? Our community garden, remember, I spoke about this last week. The Pierces are moving to Columbia, and so we need some, we need volunteers to work in the community garden. You don't have to be um, in charge of it, but if you could, if you were interested in gardening and light gardening, and you want to volunteer, um, we would appreciate it. If we don't get any volunteers to help, we're, we'll just cap it off, and we won't have it until we do, okay? And there's lots of good stuff growing over there too. All right, um, our next COVID vaccine clinic is on Sunday, June 26th, same day a Vacation Bible School starts, and it will be at 1.30 from three into the gym, in the gym. Children five years of age and older are eligible. Uh, the eligibility requirements are on our website and the link to register. Please remember to bring back your baby bottles. Baby bottles filled with change, donations, checks, annuities, mutual funds, stock, whatever. Um, anyway, the collection box is on the gathering, in the gathering space on one of the tables and will be there until Father's Day. If you do give stocks and annuities, just make those out to Father Jeff, okay? All right, or the church. All parishioners are invited to the first Friday Family Film Festival on Friday, June 24th, where we will watch this, I shouldn't say we, where they will watch the summer classic, The Sandlot. Details can be found in the bulletin and on Facebook. I will not be here for that. Um, I'll be in town, but I won't be at the first Friday Family Film Fest of St. Sabina. Okay, next Saturday, June 18th, longtime parishioner, Corey Morgan, Casey's brother, um, will be ordained into the di diaconate. Um, he is going to be working for St. Bridget's Parish in Pleasant, Hill? Is that Pleasant Hill? That's where Father Kurt Vogel is at. So congratulations to Corey and good luck to him in his ministry as a newly ordained deacon next week. Do we have any birthdays? No birthdays? Any anniversaries? Yay, we got one. Woo! <laughs> Sixth anniversary, congratulations. And three kids, two, two, three. Three, I thought three, okay. All right, any others? All right, we do have somebody who's, who's you're pointing somewhere, who? Oh, the Lucanados, when's your anniversary? How many years? 32, congratulations. All right, everybody at home watching online, um, happy birthday and happy anniversary. Next week, um, our longtime pastoral associate, Marta Roper, um, will be retiring, and so we'll have cookies and coffee after mass. Nice little reception to say thanks to, to Marta for serving our parish for so long. So if you think about it, stop next week and give her a hug. <laughs> As we begin our liturgy, let us join our voices singing from the Gather Hymnal, number 566, O God, Almighty Father, that's number 566. Father, creator of all things, the heaven 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the most holy trinity, we delve deeper into the relationship between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We too are called to participate in this relationship. For the times we have not lived up to what we are called, we ask the triune God for pardon, peace, and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your death brought life to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your spirit lives in your chosen people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you.
Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God. The Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From old I was poured forth, at the first, before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, Before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When he fixed fast the foundations of the earth. When he set for the sea its limit so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. should keep him in mind, the son of man that you care for him. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth, in all the earth. Yet you have made him and the angels with glory and honor you crowned him gave him power over the works of your hands you put all things under his feet O Lord our God how wonderful Oh. 
all of them sheep and dogs yes even the cattle of the fields birds of the air and fish of the sea that make their way through the waters oh lord our A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our affliction, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. Well, today we celebrate the Most Holy Trinity, Trinity Sunday. We celebrate the three persons in the one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And every time you enter into the church, you dip your hands into the holy water font and you bless yourself and say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
And we do that to remind ourselves that we are baptized into the being an adopted child of God. And God has been in charge of this whole universe throughout history. We hear in the first reading about how the Spirit was here frolicking around, is how they, how they write about it, um, before the universe was even begun, before we had water, before we had planets, before it even came into being. The Word existed. Jesus existed before any of us. So when God started the universe, he reached out first to Abraham and Isaac and all the prophets in order to teach the people what God wanted. But of course, it was difficult to fully grasp that. So then part of the plan of God was to send his son, Jesus. So Jesus came into this world and he lived in this world for approximately 33 years. And three years, he taught his disciples and taught us what God expects for us. What is God's will for us? And God and Jesus, he prayed very, very often and very hard to understand what his father's will was for him and for us. And he grew into it just like we grow into it. And he was able to set himself aside apart from everybody and listen to that spirit in order to teach those disciples. And then we have the scriptures and then we have the gift from Christ, the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us understand revelation, to help us understand what God's will is for, our, for us in our life. And it's not all that difficult. We know the truth. The spirit is within us. We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to help us to live our lives. If everybody could do it on this planet, this would be a very, very peaceful, loving place. But we have a lot of things that get in our way. We have the ego. We have insecurities. We have anger. We have opinions. We have all kinds of worldly things that keep us from listening to the Spirit in our daily life. We have all kinds of news. We have it on the TV. We have it in the newspaper. We have it on the web. It's everywhere. And it's all a bunch of noise that prevents us from taking a little bit of time each day to ask God to send that Spirit so that we can understand what He wants us to do. You know, when we're younger, uh, especially, you know, grade school, high school, you know, it's, it's a little bit more difficult forming your conscience, trying to understand what choices are good and what choices are bad. But if you follow your choices that you make and are honest with yourself and reflect and pray about them, you know pretty, pretty quickly whether you made good choices or not. And the more we do that, the easier it is as we age the easier it is to understand that that spirit is right there, willing and able and ready to help us if we reach out, if we ask, what do I do? What's preventing me from following your will, Lord? What is causing me so much anxiety? What is causing me so much worry that I'm not able to take a few minutes and just sit and understand your word in my heart. So think about what it is that blocks the spirit for you. What causes you the most stress or worry in your daily life? I remember uh, just a couple days ago, I woke up like at 4.30 in the morning because I thought I had two things going on this Saturday after Mass. I did, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I'm like, why am I doing that? Why am I double scheduling? Why do I always do that? I've gotten pretty good about putting this down on my calendar, you know, but some days I just don't look up my calendar on my phone. And then I agree to do something, and then I don't follow it. So I told 
the business manager here, Chris, I said, Chris, I was up for two hours before, before I would normally get up because I'm double booked this Saturday. She's like, what do you have? And I told her, she's like, well, the other one's next Saturday. <laughs> so that's what I worry about. So I have to ask the spirit, you know, stay sane, Father. <laughs> the more I do that, the better it is. So trust in the spirit and reach out to the spirit and think about what it is that keeps you from accepting that truth for you in your daily life. And then ask God to help us to be more like his son each and every day. Because everything that the father has, he has given to the son. And everything the son has, he has given to the spirit. And everything the spirit has, has been given to us. All we have to do is accept it. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us, for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. Invited into relationship with the triune God, we freely share our prayers with the one who loves us. For the church, to whom Jesus promised the spirit, may we be eager for wisdom as the mystery of faith continues to unfold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of religion, government, and communities, that the Spirit will inspire them with ways to resolve the issues of injustice, firearms, and immigration, so that all may live in peace and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and all who care for them, may they experience the compassion of others in simple acts of love and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples, for parents and children, for those who live in religious or service communities, may their love reflect the image of the triune God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us baptized in the name of the Holy Trinity, May the love of God be poured forth into our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died with the sign, sealed with the sign of the Trinity, especially Charles Bybee Sr. and Charles Bybee Jr. May they be at peace as they share in the glory of God we pray to the Lord. 
loving God, you call us into relationship with you. Created in your image, we know the love that flows between Father, Son, and Spirit. Help us embody this love in our own lives and know the joy of life in you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the altar is prepared, please join in singing number 563, How Wonderful the Three in One, number 563. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. i 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed, will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have, been, have, have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. At our Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I say the word of my soul shall be up. The communion song can be found in your hymnal at number 948. At the table of Jesus. Number nine, four, eight. At the table of Jesus we are nourished and fed by the blessing cup and heaven's living bread. At the table of Jesus earth and heaven are wed to a hungry world. God is among us, God's goodness abounds. As Christ gathers many as one, let our hearts be glad and reflect God's love. At the table of Jesus we are nourished and fed, by the blessing cup and heaven's living bread. At the table of Jesus, earth and heaven are wed. To a hungry world by our God we are led. Now as we gather all as one, division is ended, communion be. now and let us dwell in love as our God intends. At the table of Jesus we are nourished and fed by the blessing cup and heaven's living bread. At the table of Jesus earth and heaven our wed to a hungry world by our God we are led joined with the angels and the saints behold in God's glory and taste in God's grace we'll sing praise in God's holy place and with heaven's host we'll come face to face. At the table of Jesus we are nourished and fed 
by the blessing cup and heaven's living bread at the table of Jesus earth and heaven are wed to a hungry world by our God we are led Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. As we go forth, please join in singing number 567. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. That's number 567. Oh. 